This is Restoration Bible Church and Ministries. We are a people of excellence living purposefully. And as you listen to God's servant, Reverend Tina Bolanta, we trust that God's word will work wonders in your life. Luke chapter 10 verse 19, Jesus was talking. He said, Behold, I give you power to thread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the works of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. That was to his disciples even before he went to the cross. Even before he died, before he paid the price for them, he gave them the authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions. What more of you that have him on your inside? Hallelujah. So as a body of Christ, as a child of God, you have the power to abort or cancel anything the enemy is going to throw at you. And that's what we saw when um, Abraham was interceding on behalf of Sodom and Gomorrah. God had given him Abraham that right and he was trying to bargain with God. We'll still look at that later on. But as a child of God, you have the ability to cancel or to abort the plans of the enemy. You don't need to go to somebody's quote and unquote higher than you. You don't need to go to your pastor or anything. When God shows you a revelation about something bad that is about to happen, he expects you and I to go on our faces before him and stand against the plan of the enemy. And when you do that... When you stand against the plans of the enemy in intercession, you will defeat the works of the enemy in that area in the name of Jesus. A revelation about evil is not meant to be allowed to come to pass. A revelation about evil is not meant to be allowed to pass. When God shows you something, when you have a dream, you have a revelation, or you're praying and you just receive a word and that word is negative. God is not giving you that word because he is giving you information. He's not giving you that word, you know, just like, okay, this is going to happen. No. God says, this is going to happen. My child, do something about it. Do something about it. That's why he gives you that revelation. Because remember where we first read, it says, I've given you authority. That was one thing, Luke 10, 19. He gave the church the authority. He gave the church the right. And then the government is upon the shoulder. As the body of Christ, where do you sit? Jesus is the head. We start from here. So from the shoulder downwards, we fit in somewhere there. And we are meant to have the ones, we are the ones who have the right to say, no, no. This cannot happen here. No, I will not allow this in my territory. I will not allow this in my environment. I will not allow this in my home. Praise the Lord. It's just like in a home when there is a family situation and there is a head in that home. The head of the home is meant to be the one in charge of the affair of that home spiritually. Because the Bible says the husband is the head. The father is the head. The man is the head of his home. So when it comes to spiritual affairs, the man has the right to permit or disallow into his house. He has that right. In the same way as the body of Christ, you have the right to stop every evil that the enemy wants to bring your way. You have the right to stop it from coming to pass. And when you do that, you walk in the rights and privileges that your father has made available to you. Amen? So every revelation can be aborted when you take your place in prayer. Now, one thing about revelations is like we said earlier on, you can get a revelation either through a dream, through an uncomfortable feeling, through a word of prophecy, or a word of knowledge or something like that. You can get a, um, a revelation about something negative going to happen. You don't need it to come two, three times before you receive it as from the Lord. Once you have a negative impression, take out time to pray about it. Because there are times when the lives of someone else could be in um, in danger. The lives of someone else could depend on your ability to get on your face and pray. 
So if you say, well, I need God to confirm me, maybe the Bible says at the mouth of two or three witnesses, a word is established. Let me wait for the third time before I agree. By the time you wait for the third confirmation, it might be too late. So the moment you have a negative revelation or the instant you have a negative feeling on your inside about a situation, get on your face, find a quiet place somewhere, put aside everything you have to do and take out time to pray and you will abort everything that is negative and is meant to destroy your peace prematurely in the name of Jesus. God will always give you information. God doesn't keep secrets from his children. He doesn't keep secrets from his children. Let's go to Genesis chapter 18. God does not keep secrets from his people. In Genesis chapter 18, I think verse 16, 17, God said, will I hide from Abraham that which I am about to do? Will I hide, shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Seeing that he goes on to say why he would not hide it. God is not interested in hiding things from you. If you are not getting information from God, it's because you're not spending time with God. But God is willing to keep you updated, to give you information. So make up time to be in God's presence. Make up time to receive what he wants to share with you. And God will keep you posted as to the plans of the enemy against you and your family in the name of Jesus. God will always look for the person he can trust. One thing about Abraham was Abraham was bold enough to challenge God. Abraham was bold enough to challenge God. And his audacity and boldness was based on oneness through covenant. As children of God, we have that same relationship with our father. The Bible says you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. As a child of God, you have right standing. So you can also go boldly before the father and and intercede. You can go boldly before the father and cancel the plans of the enemy. One thing your righteousness does, your right standing with God does is, outside of giving you the freedom to stand before God without any sense of fear, it also gives you the freedom to stand before the enemy without being afraid of him. A lot of people, once they hear that uh, there's a demon-possessed man coming, everybody will just change direction. (laughs) Why? Why? Because you are seated with Christ far above. The fact that you are walking beside a demon-possessed man does not mean the demon is going to jump on you. Amen? The demon will not jump on you because the demon knows who you are. You might not know who you are as a child of God, but that demon knows who you are and he will not try you. But the thing is, once he notices that you are afraid, he will shake his body small. And you being afraid, you will run for cover. <laughs> you will not flee from the enemy in Jesus' name. You have authority over the enemy. So your right standing with God gives you the boldness to also challenge the enemy when he comes your way, when he brings harassments your way. So learn to stand in the confidence, in the boldness, the righteousness that belongs to you because Jesus has paid the price. And that prize was more than enough to give you right standing before the Father. You'll fulfill your assignment even in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. The prayer of intercession is a prayer of warfare, where the believer is enabled by the Holy Spirit to pull down strongholds of the enemy. The prayer of intercession is a prayer of warfare where the believer is enabled by the Holy Spirit to pull down strongholds of the enemy. It's a prayer of warfare. When you're praying the prayer of intercession, you're fighting a battle. And the Holy Ghost enables you to pull down strongholds of the enemy. In 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5, verse 3 and 4. 2 Corinthians 10 Verses 3 and 4 says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. 
for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And one of the weapons you have as a child of God is the power of intercession. It says that prayer, that weapon you have is mighty to be pulling down of strongholds. To the pulling down of everything that the enemy has brought up against you. And when it says the weapons of our warfare, it's not talking about your neighbor. But God is talking about you as his child. Hallelujah. You have the ability to intercede against every work of the enemy, against your family, against your loved ones, against brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. And when you war that battle, when you fight that battle, you will receive the victory if you stay committed to the end in the name of Jesus. And like we learned earlier on, when we were praying the prayer of intercession, we stay until we receive peace on our inside. The moment you have peace on your inside is the moment the victory is won. You might have the victory in the physical, but sometimes, I mean in the spiritual, but sometimes you don't see it immediately in the physical. It doesn't mean you don't have the victory. It just means that the time difference between the spiritual and the physical might mean you'll take a few hours. It might take some time. Sometimes it's an immediate thing. But once you have the victory on your inside, the victory will surely manifest in the natural in the name of Jesus. The prayer of intercession is best done by praying in the Holy Ghost. We've said that, so it's important we learn how to pray in tongues. It's best done by praying in the Holy Ghost. Romans 8, um, 26 says, for we know not how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself helps our infirmities by making intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Let's open there, Romans eight twenty six. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us, with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the heart knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. One thing about the prayer of intercession is most of the time you don't know the intricate details. You don't know the specific details about what you're praying about. But the Holy Spirit, who knows, helps you to pray the will of God out in that particular situation. And when you take time to pray in the Holy Spirit, you pray out the will of God in that situation, that is what causes you to have the victory. That is what causes you to end up that prayer in a note of laughter, with a note of peace on your inside, because you're praying out God's will in that particular instance. So we need to learn to pray in the Holy Ghost when we are interceding, when we are praying out a burden that the Lord has laid on our hearts. The believer is qualified by his relationship with Christ to stand in the gap on behalf of others. The believer is qualified by his relationship with Christ to stand in the gap on behalf of others. What's your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ like? You are a part of the family. You are the righteousness of God. You are a child of God. You have right standing with the Father. So you can walk up to the Father and say, Father, this is what I have seen. This is what you've laid on my heart. And I'm coming against this situation because that is not your word. That is not what you have spoken. You've said with long life you'll satisfy this brother. You have said, Father, that the works of his hands are blessed. You have said that he'll fulfill your plans and purposes. Therefore, Father, I'm standing against the plan of the enemy where he's concerned. And as you stand against that plan, you do it knowing that God will hear you and God will answer you. He will not deny you his child anything. If we know, be natural, Matthew 7, 11, if we be natural, know how to give good things to our children, how much more 
Will our Father in heaven answer us when we stand and pray on behalf of others? God will not refuse you when you stand and intercede on behalf of another person in the name of Jesus. So whatever it is you're praying about, whatever it is you're interceding for, interceding against, God who is faithful, God who has laid that burden in your heart will cause that burden to bring forth fruits even while you pray in the name of Jesus. You are seated with Christ. You have the authority. You are seated in heavenly position, far above all principalities and power. So when you pray against them, when you stand against the plans of the enemy, when you stand against the works of the enemy from a seated position, he has no choice but to flee. And the enemy will flee before you in the name of Jesus. First Timothy chapter 2. First Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 to 3. As a child of God, you have the right. In fact, God expects us to pray for those who are in authority, positions of authority. I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. It says, firstly, we pray for all men. Then he now goes on to say, for kings and for all that are in authority. Why? That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. It says we should pray for those in authority so that we can lead a quiet and a peaceable life. There are some people that believe you should not pray for anybody as long as he is not a child of God. When you don't pray for those that are not children of God, then you are allowing the enemy free reign in your country. You are allowing the enemy free reign around you. Because when you are praying for when you are not praying for the person in authority, he is under the influence of the enemy. He operates under the influence of the devil. So the more you keep quiet, the more you see the manifestation of evil in your environment. And you'll be wondering, God, but I'm here now, God, I'm praying. But you're not praying for the person in position of authority. That's why it says we should pray for those in authority that we might lead a quiet and a peaceable life. As we do that, we will reduce the amount of demonic activity around them. That's the thing, because there is a lot of demonic activity around those that are not born again. God help them. God help if, if they're also into the occult. The demonic activity is multiplied a hundred times over. So it's important that we learn to intercede for them because it reduces the amount of demonic activities around them. And it helps us to control the government from our knees. And that's why we encourage believers, we encourage children of God to take time on a daily basis to pray for our nation. Pray, stand in the gap for our country, stand in the gap on behalf of this land. When you pray for your nation, when you pray for those in authority, you reduce demonic activities around them and it helps you to control. And while you are praying, pray knowing that your own part is to pray, God's part is to do. Praise the Lord. As children of God, our own part is to pray. God's part is to do. When we pray, we enable God to do his will. And God's will will come to pass in our lands in the name of Jesus. At the time that Apostle Paul was writing this, you find that they were under very evil um, rule. The Christians in their days were persecuted badly in the sense that they were thrown into lions, dens. They were, I mean, just for being Christians, their lives were at risk. And yet that same apostle Paul said we should pray for those in authority. He knew what he was talking about. There is a need to stand in the gap and pray. Because when you pray for those in authority, you control how much power or how much room you are giving them to listen. You have authority as a child of God. 
And this evening we're going to take our position in the spiritual realm and take some time to pray for our country. Because God has a lot in store for this land. God has things he, he, has, delivered, he has decided to do in our nation. And it is as we take our place in the place of prayer that we will help God's plans and purposes to come to pass in our lands in the name of Jesus. The spiritual always controls the natural. The spiritual always controls the natural. So we're going to control the natural by taking a few minutes just to intercede for our nation. I'd like us to rise to our feet this evening. And let's just take a few minutes to pray for our land. Let's pray the will of God to come to pass in this nation. Let's pray for our land. Let's come against terrorism. Let's come against the insecurity in this nation. Let's come against every spirit from the pits of hell that has been let loose upon this land. Let's come against them in the name of Jesus. Let's pray the peace of God over this land. Maria Father Rianda Laba Jekribo Se Sekribo Shantalabo Zakribushta. Maria Mbababa Jekribo Sto. We come against insecurity. We come against kidnapping in this nation, in our communities, Father, in our state. We come against kidnappings. We come against terrorism in the name of Jesus. Rianda Lebo Jekribo Satalabushta. Marianda Rianda Rebo Bobo Zekribo Shetete Rebushta. Marianda la base rebo je ke tete te rianda base ze ze kreboshta i ze ze kreboshe tete rianda la boshtu Marianda rebo ze 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 keboshtu over our communities father we speak your peace rebo bo je kreboshta la boshta rianda la base ze kreboshe tete rebo za la boshta Marianda rianda 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 i ze kreboshe ante rebo za Maria za la bo je kreboshe ante te reboshta Mara baba Baba zete te rebo ze kreboshta rianda lebo je fruko soto to rianda zo she krebo zo she krebo zo kre krebo shanta leboshta i rianda lebo ze ze kreboshta ma rianda rebo bo 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 ze 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 kreboshta ma rianda rebo bo bo je kreboshta i rianda la ba ze 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 kreboshta raba ba 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 ze klabo shanta labo shanta labo shanta labo shanta labo shanta labo shanta labo ze krebo shanta la ba za raboshta ma rianda la ba ze rebo ze rebo ze rebo i ria ba 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 je krebo sa telebo shanta raboshta ma rianda lebo ze 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 kreboshta rianda lebo bo 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 rianda lebo bo 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 je vrike zanta ma rianda rebo bo 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 je krebo bo sata la boshtu maria anda rabo bo 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 ze 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 boshtu re bo 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 je kre bo boshtu iri anda la bo je kre boshtu father our sleep at night shall be sweet because we are far from terror re anda la bo 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 je kre bo zen te re boshtu maria anda rabo ze 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 kre bo she te te ri anda la bo maria ze kre bo shanta la bo ze 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 maria ze ze kre bo je te re boshtu iri anda la bo ze 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 boshtu maria anda rebo bo 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 je kre bo je kre bo je every work of evil in our states every work of evil in our communities father we come against it in the name of jesus even in this nation we come against it in the name of jesus irianda le rebo bo 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 je kre bo je marianda rebo bo 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 je kre bo je te te le bo je marianda rianda 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 isa kre bo je kre bo je te te i je te 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 le le bo je Marianta la bo je kre bo sa 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 raboshte i rianda la bo 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 je kre bo je te te la boshte marianda re bo 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 je kre bo shte i rade de ke je re bo 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 i ria ze 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 kre bo je te te 
Mara bo 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 riante re bo 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 iza talabo zekre bo zatalabo 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 iriande la bo jovri ke zatadela bo shtu marianda re bo 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 re bo 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 zekre bo sa irianda le re bo 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 shtu marianda re bo 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 shtu Nigeria will stand as a country Nigeria will. Stand stand as a nation nigeria will not be divided in the name of jesus it will stand as a nation as a country fulfilling destiny in the name of jesus marianda rebo bo 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 je krebosta mazeze ze krebo je tetala bo ja tala bo mara bo 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 riande rebo bo 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 shtu iriande le bo ze 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 ke bo ze 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 ke maria ze 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 ke rebo ja ta iriande le bo je krebo za ya ta rebo bo 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 shtu Mark rebo je krebo ze 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 ke rebo chante le boshtu Marian talabo je krebo chante talabo chante talabo chante talabo chante talabo chante talabo Marian da rebo bo 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 je krebo shtu Irian da rebo bo 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 je krebo shtu Ma ze 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 shtu Father we call upon the warring angels we say go and fight out God's will in this nation go and fight out the battle of the Lord in this land Marian da rebo bo 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 je krebo Marianda Rianda Rianda Isala bo ze krebo shete Rianda re bo 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 shtu Mara ba 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 ra ba 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 je krebo je krebo ira ta ta la bo ja 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 ta ta la bo ma ja ta la bo ja ta la bo krebo za da la bo shtu o Rianda la ba 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 Marianda la bo ze 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 Irianda le re bo jo re bo Marian de le bo ze 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 kesh te ira ba 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 ba
Rebota, Marianda, Rebota, 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 Breke, Jete, Tete, 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 Rebo, Jeketa, Irianta, Labo, Jek, Rebo, Shanta, Tarabosh, Marianda rebo Marianda rebo bo 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 Maria ze 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 ke Oria je te 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 rebo sahayata Masahayata 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 Oria ze krebo shoto to rianda labo Oh Father Ria ze ke shoto to rianda labo Father, we bless you. Krebo shoto toria sehle boshta. A rebo soso koriande rebo shoko salabashto. Father, we give you praise. Father, we bless you. We thank you because you've left us with weapons that we can use, even as your children in our land. Father, we thank you for this nation. We thank you, Lord, because you have a plan and a purpose for this country. And we stand as a body, we stand as a family, and we say, Father, your perfect will will come to pass in this nation in the name of Jesus. Father, we stand against every walk of the enemy, every act of terrorism, every act of banditry, every act of kidnapping from the pits of hell. Father, we stand against it in this nation and we command it to come falling down in the name of Jesus. Father, where our church family is concerned, we plead the blood of Jesus over them. And we say that blood protects them from every act of the evil where their lives and properties, their loved ones are concerned in the name of Jesus. Father, we stand in the gap on behalf of this nation. And we say that where Nigeria is concerned, you will bring to pass every word you have spoken concerning it to the letter in the name of Jesus. Father, we charge your warring angels to go and fight the battle on behalf of the church in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We appreciate you. You put us together from different parts of this country to form one nation for a purpose. And we will stand as a country united in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. Thank you for your mercies, Lord. Lord, we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for listening to today's message. We know you have been blessed. You can reach us on the following platforms. On Facebook and Instagram as Restoration Ministries International. On Twitter, YouTube and Mixeller as RBCM Online. You can also visit our website on www.rbcmonline.org or you can visit us live at Restoration Clothes, Romy New Extension, Kaduna, Nigeria.